I, now I'm so dead. I've lost all my wheels. Shoot. No. 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 Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Sammy Levin, and welcome back to another episode of Main Assembly. Today we'll be looking at robot AI and how we can program it into robots like these black lawnmower looking things that are chasing me around, as well as how we can make them fight each other. Like that one is trying to fight me right now. As you can see, all three of these robots are tracking me, and uh, things can get a little risky in here. Yeah, I just lost my front wheel, one of them. Uh, if I lose any more, I am super dead. Oh. Okay, nice. I just lost my suction arm. Uh, oh, no. Get out. No. I can't even steer anymore. I've lost both of my fronts. And that, so did that guy. Oh, no. A bit more robot rustling and wrangling later. So, guys, this is basically the robot that we'll be using to make an, into an AI-driven robot. It's basically a little grabber, suction grabber, hammer, smasher robot thing. At basically what it does, you can drive it around, it works like that, la la. You get the idea. It drives a car, but then it also does a few other things. It's got the little suction cup arm in the front, which you can extend, you can use the suction cups on there, and you can lift. So it can kind of come in handy for lifting things and grabbing things if you need to. But it also has a, as you probably noticed, a giant hammer sticking out the back, which you can use to smash things whether it be like wooden walls or other robots and such. Pretty fun if it could be used in multiplayer. Of course, multiplayer collision is not a thing yet in this game, so which kind of sucks. But basically what you can use that for is you can just grab other bots like this, extend your arm, bring them back, raise them, and then just bash them. And we're going to convert this guy to AI, and we'll see how that works out. Okay, so here's our blank template we're going to be using. It's basically an exact replica of the robot I was just driving, except the programming is not there, first of all. Second of all, it has a smart sensor, and it has these proximity sensor things. I don't know if I will be using these, but because I was trying to do that before, use these before with the arm to see if I could get it to come back and forth like crazy. So just repeatedly smash instead of just smashing it once and that's it. So, here we go. Let's start. So guys, here's what I'm going to do. Because this programming takes a little while, what I'm going to do is I'll time lapse it and then I'll explain it all afterward. So, here we go.
Okay guys, so programming is done, and now to explain what all this stuff does. So this first part basically is to make the robot go back and forth. The second part here is to make it steer. So basically to do that, it takes the heading of the robot, sends it through a PID controller, which helps it adjust to that direction, and then it clamps it between the certain values so it can actually steer that way precisely, not just flopping all around the place. And then our final steering block, and then the next part controls the suction. So if the other enemy robot or object or whatever is picked up nearby, right in front of the suction cups, then it'll turn on the suction cups. Unless the robot is pitched forward a certain amount, because I noticed there was a problem where it grab onto the ground and it wouldn't let go. So basically what this does is if it hits that angle threshold, then it'll cancel out the suction cups and then it'll level itself out again. And this last part right here, all it does is it checks if the suction cups are attached. And then if so, it triggers the hinge to move up and the hammer to strike. Which is what this sequence is in charge of. Basically it causes the hammer to swing back and forth like crazy. So that's basically it, how that works. So now to see if it actually works in real life. Um, I'll just leave it in subway style off if you guys want to take a picture of it, screenshot of it so you can guys can put it in your own builds if you choose to do so. But otherwise, let's see how this thing works out. So we have one, and I'm just going to spawn another one over here because that just happens. They just kind of go backwards like that for whatever reason, not sure why. Basically, here we go. They're just fighting each other and whatever. So... If I spawn a third, <coughs> should join in the fight and whack him. Oh, jeez. That whole thing just exploded. <laughs> Youch. Brutal. Very brutal. Yeah. Oh. Now what did you do? Get stuck into the wall there. Um, now it should be good. So it should home in, grab on, almost. Um, kind of weird if they're next to each other like that. You can see they're kind of gr trying to grab each other. There we go. Now they're just pounding. Pound away, my friends. Pound away. Ooh, <laughs> this poor guy right here. So now if I spawn another one. Ooh, ouch. And this was that one problem I attempted to fix where they'd grab onto the ground. There we go. And the way I did that was through this string right here. Basically what this does is if the pitch gets to a certain point, in this case about 10 degrees, then it'll basically interrupt the suction. It'll cut it off. And then, and then the suction doesn't work, so it lets go of the ground, goes back to normal. Pretty simple takes a little bit to get working, but once you get it working, it goes. So, whoop, <laughs> grab it onto the ground, whoa, wow, one hit, youch. Okay, so now we're gonna start a battle between, well, two of these. So we're gonna put one over here, and one over here, Let's see how this goes. Ooh, they're gaining, they're actually pretty fast, a lot faster, oh, jeez, wow, they, this one got completely destroyed. Whole front is gone, the hammer is gone. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's keep going. Let's just keep spawning more and more until we find a... See how long one of them lasts. Uh, this guy's not going to last too well. Actually, well, yeah. He's already lost his front part. Um, oh, wow. Actually, I could reach far enough to chop his wheel off. Nice. I mean, this guy's basically had it. Okay, so there's that guy. Oh, he's stuck, isn't he? Okay, there he is. He's unstuck. Now we do this one. Another one. Okay, to grab. Hammer flies off again. Seems to be a common uh, weak point with these. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a, a tombstone in there. The lawnmower. So I'm going to put them right over here, and then 
hopefully we'll see some good stuff happen here. Oh, he's going backwards again. Dummy. Okay, they're both trying to figure out where they want to go. Ooh, a little bump in the wheel there. Hopefully he can get a good hit. I'm kind of rooting for this guy, because this guy is... Oh. Well, yeah, okay, he's kind of done. What if we just do two of those lawnmower guys? Okay, they're coming. What is up with this guy? Going backwards here. Okay, there we go. They just take a second of the turn, because they use tank steering, where both wheels are used to steer the tank and move it forward. Or not the tank in this case, but the bot. Ooh, he just got wrecked. He spawn another one. It's probably the same thing. Oh, oh wow. They're really getting, uh, getting it there. Ouch. You know what? What if I hop in? Ooh, this should be fun. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm just going to pull one right out of there. If I can. Oh, I don't know if I really want to do that. Actually, oh, there goes a wheel of mine. So, okay, this guy's done completely. So is my hammer. <laughs> so I'm going to back up, respawn, and re-enter. See if I can't grab his blade. Oh, wow. Surprised that works. He has basically been disabled. You know, what if I can eat him? Okay, there we go. I'm <laughs> forgetting my controls already. Um, nope. Okay, that was a bad mistake. Ooh. Okay, cool. Got him. Bring him in. That is quite surprising. I can still win even if I'm losing my rear wheels. And it's a very good thing to know. Nope. <laughs> and I could still run too, so it seems. You know what? Huh. That thing looks like a little shopping cart. Maybe that's what I should do next episode. Let me know down in those comments as usual. Because that would be pretty interesting. And actually, you know what? Let's do it against something big. Like very big. I'm going to spawn one of these. And then see what exactly the AI bot does to this thing. Because that would be pretty interesting. Because it's so big. Oh. Oh. Oh wow, just hacking away at the front there. Ouch. Okay. Did not expect that. He's literally picking the thing up. Wow. Anyway guys, that's been it for today. Battlebots, grabber, hammer things that are supposed to fight and stuff. Pretty cool. Um, comment down below, like, subscribe. Give me ideas for next episode. Maybe I'll actually do them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Until then, goodbye.